Hello, this is a post about risky behavior and society of risky behavior and how I see it. And it's a play, play for making COVID vaccination mandatory or to sanction people who don't want to get vaccinated. People indulge in uh, various risky behaviors. They go by motor car, which is one of the most risky undertakings uh, you can do in your life. Uh, they take drugs, drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, uh, getting other drugs which are risky for your health. Uh, other people make hiking tours uh, in areas that are dangerous to hike. Uh, other people work too much, other people move not enough. There is nearly no behavior what is not associated to a certain type of risk. Society has to handle these risks and reacts in various ways to these risks. Some of these risks are simply uh, tolerated like driving a car. Um, driving a car is considered so much fundamental for our society that the risk of, uh, of dying in car incidents has to be accepted. But it is conditioned. So you are forced, if you are driving a car, you are forced to uh, have an insurance against accidents and you have to uh, you have to buckle up and if you don't do this you will be heavily fined up to going to jail for not having a car insurance if you are using a car. Other uh, risky behaviors are outright, are outright prohibited like taking uh, some, some, of, some of the drugs. Other are disencouraged, like uh, smoking. Uh, and there is surely a discussion, possible discussion about how society should react on risky behavior. I think it's example that uh, criminalization of drug use is, 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 of no, is of no good because it's uncontrollable, it creates criminality and uh, restricted, controlled use would be much more efficient. But this is simply how it's not that you have to control and react to risky behavior, but it's only how to do it. Uh, not getting vaccinated against COVID-19 is a risky behavior. It's a risky behavior for yourself, because you can get ill, and is a risky behavior for society. Because if you get ill, society has to pay for, for your health costs. Furthermore, also if 80% get vaccinated and 20% don't get vaccinated, the virus has breeding places to create variants to then attack the 80% that get vaccinated again. So it's a uh, heavily risky behavior and it's an antisocial risky behavior. Much more antisocial than climbing on the Mount Everest and falling down, which is also has also societal consequences because they have to come to rescue you, but it's of, an, of a different entity. In, furthermore, vaccination is of negligible risk. If you would make a list of the of, uh, of 10,000 risks uh, with, a, uh, with a grading, uh, the anti-COVID vaccination would not even appear. Taking uh, the, the, the side effects are on the level of the side effects of aspirin, frankly spoken. So there is no reason why to refuse the jab. And this overall brings to the conclusion that uh, anti-COVID vaccination should be mandatory or people who get not vaccinated should be pay for the consequences. 
example, not be permitted anymore into restaurants, not permitted anymore into, into cinemas. It doesn't resolve the problem of the virus breeding place, but here is a, an area where society has to act to defend themselves and to defend especially the most weakest her members of society. For example, people are immunodepressed and cannot get vaccinated or they get vaccinated but they will not produce anti antibodies and those people can be attacked by viruses to get their breeding place in people who for stupid reasons don't get vaccinated. So vaccination is not something what everyone can and should decide for him or herself. Vaccination is a societal duty and so let's get vaccinated.